I'm heading back from my walk. It'll be about just about a mile and a half um, when I get back to my car. But I was praising the Lord and speaking my heavenly language to Him and giving Him praise and thinking about the word believe and just how powerful that word is. You know, I look around at the ground and how all this snow is so white and the water. And I don't know, I just believe that God created it, right? He had it come down from the sky. He put it on this path and I get the opportunity to relish in it, to have my feet touch the ground and walk on top of something he created. And I don't know. I don't know if that's an analogy. I don't think it is, but I just, I'm looking at the wonder and the splendor and the beauty of what God has done. And I think if I can believe that he had these snowflakes in the sky and have them come down, I can believe anything. I can believe that I've been put here for a reason. And you have too. You have too. But do you have the courage to step into that thing you're believing for? And put it to the test. Just go for it. I know the days get difficult. You know, I was just walking and crying and thanking God and asking him for the strength to continue on, to continue on fighting the good fight of faith. Because see, if we don't do it as believers, who's going to do it? Who's going to stand in the gap? Who's going to be raised up and fight for this thing called Christianity? For the opportunity to say, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He died and rose again for me and for you. And because of that, all things are possible to them who believe. So yeah, I've got big dreams and I know you've got them too. And we're not gonna stop believing for them. Every day we're putting our head, not even down, right? We're just, we're looking forward with shoulders back and we're marching on to victory. We're saying this is the time for such a time as this. Esther, remember her? She had to be bold and go before the king. She said, if I perish, I perish. But I have an opportunity to save my people. And she went before him and did what God called her to do. And it took her a while to muster up the courage. You know, God's always on time. So surely as I walk this path and I look around me at his creation, I know that what he's got for me is great. What he's got for you is great. And you're called here to do great things. Because you believe. You believe. Look look at these bare branches, right? I think about this too. And, and birds aren't starving during this winter season. They will find a place to rest their head, right? They will find a food to eat. So for every little thing I need, I can believe that Jehovah Jireh is my provider. I don't have to squirm and fret and be afraid Instead, I just know that he's going to do what he says he's going to do. He's got my back. He's my best friend. I said that the other day when I was reading, and I mean that. It's about 22 degrees. I'm freezing. It's cold out here, but I'm not going to let the coldness or the fear or the obstacles distract me for what I said I was going to do 
at the end of my day, right? After I worked and took Brenda Ballet, I was gonna walk. So it's no big deal to some people, but it's keeping that promise to myself. And that's what I need you to do. Make promises, little ones, and follow through. That's how we get to where we wanna go. And then when you get there, when you reach that goal, you're not done. You see, there's another thing God's got because there's always something to do for him, to bring him glory and honor and to see him work through a human being, a person, that's you, that's me. We've got a job to do. So let's keep keeping on, right? Let's keep believing. Let's keep moving forward and march on to victory. I love you, you can heal family. I really do. But Jesus loves you more. And his plan for you is amazing. It's glorious. It's magnificent. It's wonderful. It's, um, it takes your breath away. Take your breath away. Just allow him to work through you. Always remember that true healing begins with self-love. Why? Because God is love and he loves on the inside of you. We'll talk soon. Love ya. Bye.